What's up guys and welcome back to Soft Knowledge Solutions and today we're talking about Call of Duty Modern Warfare 2. Now ladies and gentlemen, Call of Duty has brought out a new update and a lot of people are either playing this through Battle.net or they are playing it through Steam obviously. Now personally I am a Battle.net user, I play my Call of Duty through Battle.net itself. Now it doesn't really matter where you are playing this through, which application, doesn't matter if you're playing it through Steam or through Battle.net. Now, if you are a subscriber to my YouTube channel, you'll most likely know what I'm about to show you right now. If you are brand new and you this is the first time you are watching one of my videos, I'm going to show you two things that you're going to need to do before I jump into this main topic of this video, which is going to be a direct comparison of settings inside the game. So there's going to be lots of cuts by changing settings and then showing you what FPS you're going to get in results by changing those settings inside the game. Now, if you've never done this before, and this is the first time on my YouTube channel, and this is the first time you're hearing my voice, I highly recommend, and you haven't done this already, go ahead and do this. Go to your file explorer like this, and go to Documents, go to Call of Duty, and then go to Players, and then go to this file that says options 3cod 22 Open this up with any editing software, or any notepad, or anything like that, just so that you can edit. Scroll all the way down, till where you see here, it says render a work account. And what you're going to do inside here is half your cores. So I have an 8-core, 8 8-thread 8 CPU. You know, you don't half your threads, you half your total cores. Not performance cores, your total cores. I had a lot of people in my comments asking me in my previous video, is it your performance cores, is it your threads, what is it? It's your total cores. Not performance cores, not threads, total cores. You're going to half it. So I have eight cores, I half it to four. Obviously, whatever you have, you're going to half it. Now, something I just want to point out is, if you have anything like a four-core machine, or a six core machine. I don't recommend with four go to two. Don't. Rather leave it at its default. If you have a six core machine, don't put it at three, rather put it at four or leave it at its default. But when you go higher, like an eight core four, then you obviously put it at four and half it. If you have a 10 core five, if you have a 12 core six, you get the point. You're going to half your cores and put it inside here. And then once you're done with that, you're just going to click on the file over here and say save. Now this will give you an increase of FPS about 10 to 15 to 20 to 30 FPS just by changing that alone. Now that is very, very important for your game. And no, I had a comment before on my YouTube channel as well, on one of my videos saying, does that break anything in the game or can it like eventually break something on your PC? No, it can do nothing. It's just a config file. Nothing can happen to your machine, so don't worry about that. Next step is this. Now, most of the people on my YouTube that subscribe or that watches my videos know this already. But if you are a new year, right click on your desktop and go to NVIDIA control panel if you are an NVIDIA user like me. These are the steps you're going to need to take before you actually jump into my comparison video, which is going to come now later on in my video. Please go ahead and go to adjust image settings with preview and then go to use the advanced 3D image settings and click on take me there. You're basically just going to click over here where it says manage 3D settings. Now, a lot of people have asked me in my comments, why don't I use program settings and then only select Call of Duty Modern Warfare 2. Now, the reason why I don't do that and I use global is these settings right here at this very moment right now. At this time that you're listening to my voice, this day and age, 2023, these are the best settings you can put inside NVIDIA Control Panel's global settings. It won't just help for Call of Duty, but it will help for every single game that you're going to be playing on your machine at this current moment. So please go ahead and just pause this video over here. Or just copy my settings as is. This plays a very big role inside the game itself. Please go ahead and change this from default driver to 100 gigs. Do not put it on unlimited. Put it on 100 gigs. Prefer maximum performance. Obviously select your GPU. High performance. Allow off. On, on, off, off. And then obviously these are just virtual reality things. And then these you are just going to copy as is as mine. Please go ahead and do that. Once you're done with that, go ahead and apply this and then go to config around in physics and make sure that you select your GPU. Select your dedicated graphics card you're currently running right now and say apply. Once you are done with this, you're going to go to adjust desktop color settings. Now this won't increase performance, but what it will do is it will make your game pop much nicer in the game and look much brighter with digital vibrance, the contrast, the brightness and the gamma inside of here. Now I highly do recommend just copying these three over here and then you're going to go ahead and play around with this one over here at your own personal preference because every single person out there has a different type of monitor or different type of screen or a gaming screen or a display like a laptop display so it's going to be your own personal preference on what you're going to need to do inside here 
Right, ladies and gentlemen, once you're done with this, I'm going to jump straight into the direct comparison of showing you the FPS and also upscaling settings and stuff and everything you should turn on and everything you should turn off. Things you should use and things you shouldn't use. It's all up to you. It's your own personal preference and what type of machine you're running. Now, if this worked for you, leave a like, leave a comment, subscribe to your YouTube channel. If you're new here, it takes a lot of time and dedication to make all of these videos because I constantly have to restart my shaders and all those things. It takes a lot of fucking dedication. Trust me, it does. So please, for the love of fuck, leave a like, leave a comment, subscribe to your YouTube channel of your new year and let's jump straight into the direct comparison Switching mags! Grenade out! Throwing shot stick! Ready. Shoot an attack! Check the fire! Contact! Strike ready for fire mission. Too close! Friendly UAV on station. Requesting crosshair. Target marked. Copy that. Barrow 6 inbound for SAE. Good effect on target. Domination. Securing Alpha. Dusted him. Point to six. Alpha secure. Enemy right here. With that, Bravo. We're losing Bravo. Grenade out. Securing Charlie. The enemy securing Alpha. The enemy took Bravo. Charlie secure. Enemy taking Alpha. Bring objective Alpha. Enemy taking Charlie. Objective Charlie secure. The lead is ours. Domination. We're taking Alpha. Alpha Fire secure. Six. Bravo secure. We've taken the lead. I'm taking effective fire. Approaching your six. Grenade out. Thank you, Bravo. Throw shock stick. Slot. Objective Charlie. The enemy took Bravo. We control Charlie. Drone ready. Friendly UAV online. Domination. Securing Charlie. Enemy spotted. 
Got your cover. We control Charlie. We have the lead. Loaded. Enemy contact. Enemy is securing Bravo. Grenade out.
Alright, ladies and gentlemen, here's a little bonus for you guys. Go to interface and then go to color customization. Click on this, go to filter 2. Keep it at filter 2. Keep it at both. 100%, 100%, and custom. And then go to your enemy and then you can choose whatever color you want inside here. I mean, red, go with pink. You can go with baby blue, red, yellow, green, whatever. I'll leave mine at pink because there's nothing in the game that's really pink except gun skins. And as you could see in the gameplay, I could see my enemies really easily. So I highly recommend choosing a nice color inside here. It's very important to do that. Then something that's very, very important to do. After changing and applying all of these settings, go ahead and click on Restart Shader Optimization. And then you're going to need to restart your game completely and relaunch your game. If this worked for you, leave a like, leave a comment, subscribe to me to the channel if you're on New Year. As always, ladies and gentlemen, I'm just here to help the Call of Duty community as best I can. And as always, peace.